What's up world? I'll be back again. I've been on the video binge today. <laughs> anyway, the title of this one is My Journey with Christianity. I grew up in the Bible Belt in the South, Columbia, South Carolina. And uh I went to church. My parents took me to church Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and sometime Monday night for prayer service. And being young, it sounded like a a good message, you know. But as you go to school, as I went to school, and then go to church, you can't help but notice that what's going on in the world. And what the church talking about is two totally different things. So, uh, one memory I have of, of going to church is Terry service. Now I know black people gonna know what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know. I guess it depends on what what uh, denomination you in. But Terry service is when. You know, they'll have an altar call. And anybody who wanna who wanna catch the Holy Ghost, they'll take you to a back room. And you'll basically close your eyes and repeat Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Until you caught the Holy Ghost. It was a sight to see. You know, people crying, snot coming out like they know. Hands in the air, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. When I was 12, I caught the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, I think this, the couple of days after I caught the Holy Ghost, I was sitting in church listening to a service. I think I was about 12 years old, listening to the pastor preach. And in my, in my mind, I was thinking, you know, this religion stuff, some of this stuff is just as crazy as what they telling me in school and history class, what people used to believe. You know, about the origins of the world and things. So I told myself then, sitting in church, I said, I'm going to seek out these things for myself. See what's going on. So let's fast forward to high school. And I'm a quiet dude. I don't talk much, especially back then. I wouldn't have dreamed of doing a video and putting it on the internet. But uh, I don't like being in the crowd. I don't like standing in front of the crowd speaking, especially. But being in the crowd uh, make me antsy, make me, make me, make me itchy. Anyway, I was sitting in class, and people around me having a debate about religion, I don't know, some other crazy stuff. I decided to interject, because the dude was saying, smoking is not a sin. And I was like, yeah, it is. And he was like, where? Show me in the Bible where it said. And I thought, I was like, well, damn, I don't know. And that made me think back to all the time I've heard a preacher stand up in the pulpit and say smoking and drinking is a sin. That threw me off. <laughs> and that was one of the few times I tried to speak up about, you know, religious things. So, let's see, let's fast forward some more years. I was in college. And I was in the library, I found a book, this thick about Christianity, about the history of Christianity. And uh, I began to read that book. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I was reading, man. The history of Christianity is crazy. All these wars that was fought in the name of religion. 
people getting killed just so you just just for reading the Bible and trying to translate the Bible to the masses. I'm sitting there thinking in my head, now why isn't this stuff taught about religion? If I didn't go to college, I would have never known this. How many people don't know this? How many people go to church every day don't know the history of religion? All religions. Because all of them are crazy as hell. Anyway. Yeah. Religion is crazy. That's just my thing on it. Humans always got to put labels on, on themselves. After that little episode in, in high school, I, I denounced all labels because, you know, labels just divide, divide humans. We got different skin, but we all got the same energy. Well, we all come from the same energy. And even if we didn't, we don't know what the energy looked like because all we can see is with, with our eyes. We all bleed the same blood. People putting these fake ass labels on them. <laughs> Stuff like that make me want to crawl back in my shell again. Anyway, that's where I'm at with Christianity and any kind of religion or label. True love, true knowledge, true peace, no division, no corrupt system.